Okay, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how using Yahoo Mail Classic, as you can see up here, and I'll also show you the all new mail here in a little bit. I want to show you how to attach files and email them to people. Now, a lot of people already know, and some of them may not know. Yahoo does have a 25 megabyte limit, which is pretty big, pretty generous. Um, 25 megabyte limit on your message size, which includes your message and any files that you send with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to New. Um, and let's think of an address here. <laughs> okay. Let's say we're going to send this to, I don't know, junk at mail.com. I'm just making it up. Okay. Subject. You don't even have to put one in if you want, but. Let's put, um, sounds. Okay. If you want to type a message. Um, you can do that, but you don't have to. I'm going to go to attach files. It's going to bring up this screen. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. But the hard part is figuring out how large the files are. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my music folder here, go into some sounds. Let's see. Let's say we want to send this file bubbles. Now before we do anything, let's figure out what size it is. And by doing that, I'm going to put you know, as you can see, I just left click to select the files. And once the file is highlighted, go ahead and right click it. This, me this message should come up, or this screen. Go all the way to the bottom where you see properties. Now when this comes up, it's going to tell you the size right here. This is 364K. Look at it this way you can't go over 25,000 K or 25 megabytes. So just kind of keep this number in your head. Um, so we're going to go ahead, that's selected, click open. It's attachment number one. Now you can send multiple files in one shot. If you're not sure you know how big the files are or if the file is already close to 25 megabytes you can go ahead and send one file and send multiple emails um, let's pick another file here these are all miscellaneous sound files I use for my videos um, Okay, let's pick this one here. I selected it. I right-clicked it. Your computer may not have all these options. My machine is pretty loaded down with software. And I'm going to go to Properties. That one's only 35K. So I close that. I'm going to go ahead and hit Open. And it puts it down here in the box. Now let's say you're actually going to send a... Um, a full-length music file. Now, most MP3 files range from 3 megabytes to 10, depending upon how they're decoded. So I'm going to look through here. I know I got some in here. Um, okay, here we are. This is one. Now again, I left click. I left clicked to select it. I right-clicked to open up this um, 
Let's do that again. Okay, I right click to select it. Hit the left. Damn. Okay. I left click to select it. Go ahead and right click to open up this menu. I move my mouse down here to where it says properties. Go ahead and hit properties. It brings up this page here. Now as you can see this is a full length mp3 file. Approximately five to seven minutes. It's 5.69 megabytes in length. Okay. Go ahead and click OK. Files high make sure the file is highlighted that you want. Hit open. Okay. And you repeat the process um, until you accumulate. You kind of have to calculate in your head or write it down, uh, which I have to write it down. When you get, you know, close, I try to go under 25 megabyte uh, in size. When you get close to, you know, to 20, go up here to where it says attach files. Click attach files. You'll see this screen. And uh, depending upon your internet speed, it can take a while or it can go through within a few minutes. But what it's doing is it's uploading the files to your email account and also scanning them for viruses. Okay. If yours took as long as mine, does, mine did, because I have a... Uh, I have a little bit slower connection than most people, but um, it went through in about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes, depending upon the size. But after the emails are attached, this screen comes up, and if you look down here, where the little paper clips are, it shows you the file. It shows you the file name, the extension, which, you know, these are MP3s in this case, and the size. Um, usually in kilobits, KB. That one's, this one here, is 365. This one is, is this one here is 5,829 kilobits, or kilobytes, I'm not sure which. Could be wrong. Um, that is a total, that's almost 6 megabytes. So you can go through here and add these up and see how many thousand kilobytes you have and if you end up with 20,000 or less it's okay to go ahead um, go up here on send and send your email out um, your and there you go you'll get a message here message sent um, if the person's in your contacts that icon will show up and whatnot um, but this is how you do it with Yahoo Mail Classic.